As hosts, we always want to provide delicious food for our guests. Sometimes that can be difficult if food allergies are concerned. That's why even though I'm not gluten intolerant, I still enjoy testing gluten-free recipes. And this is exactly why my testing has guided me to make these delicious cornbread cookies. And this recipe is my final recipe in my reimagining Thanksgiving as a carnival series, at least for this year. Now I see no more need for delay, let's make these cookies. Take softened salted butter, granulated sugar, and honey, then add these to a bowl. Using a sturdy wooden spoon, beat this to a creamy consistency. Alternatively, skip the workout and use an egg beater or stand mixer. It's up to you. Once this is creamed, crack in one room temperature egg. This will cause the butter to curdle, which seems alarming, but it will unify with more mixing. Stir in the vanilla and also the almond flour. At this point, we can mix our dry ingredients, which are tapioca flour, sea salt, baking soda, and crushed chamomile flours. The chamomile subtly enhances the flavor of the corn in a kind of herbal way. Then, the final dry ingredient can be added, that being the cornmeal, of course. Or, if you love culinary diversity like I do, then make half the batter using yellow cornmeal and the other half with the blue cornmeal. That can be achieved by separating the dough prior to adding the cornmeal, so as to add the different cornmeal separately to their designated dough-filled bowls. Then chill this in the fridge for half an hour. After the dough chills, we can form it into six balls. To feed my creativity, I blended the two colors together on two of the cookies. I thought this design looked really neat. Place these upon greased baking dishes and press them down slightly. It is optional but recommended to garnish these with crispy bacon, or better yet, my recipe for maple candied bacon. Link in the description. Pop these into a 350 degree preheated oven for 18 minutes, which is when they have become crispy and toasted to golden bliss. Allow these time to cool before serving. Then garnish them with a slab of butter and a drizzle of honey. And I cannot entirely describe how delicious these massive, crunchy yet chewy, sweet, earthy, and ever so slightly herbal cookies are. And if you add bacon to this, this dish transcends to a higher level of heaven with its flavor. I hope I inspired you to try something new, and if you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking, commenting, and subbing. Don't forget to check out my other Carnival of Thanksgiving recipes, and stay tuned for my upcoming Christmas recipes. But until then, continue on your culinary adventures.